In this video, I teach you how to get a chart with a target line like this. Casper from Spreadsheet here, and I promise you that this is much easier than you think. The first step to inserting a target line in a chart is to write down your target. So you add this target to your data set. So this is my target. These are the sales target numbers, but this is the actual sales numbers. So make sure you have a target data point for each of the other data points you already had in your data. The second step to getting this target line is to include this target in your chart. So you can just click your chart and drag this area here so you include the new data. And then it looks something like this. And I know this isn't what we want right now. We'll get to that, but for now it should look like this. If this doesn't work out for you, you can always just insert a new chart by selecting the data, including the target, hitting the bar chart here, and then it looks kind of similar, right? So, but we don't need that right now. Step number three is obviously to subscribe to my channel because you don't wanna miss my next videos. Got you there, didn't I? The real step number three is to turn these bars here into the target line that we wanna go horizontal through this chart. So select it, just select one of them and they are all selected and go to chart design up here and click change chart type. Now make sure you're in the combo chart type here on the left and on the orange target series name, choose another chart type. So we're simply just turning what this chart considers to be a series, like the original series we had, the sales numbers. These target numbers are also just a series that we can change to any other chart type. And we want it to be a line chart because that'll get us this horizontal line. So click it and hit OK. And now you can see that we have our target line. I said it was going to be easier than you thought, right? If you like this video, you need to check out my free online Excel training at spreadsheeto.com slash YouTube. Also, YouTube thinks this is a good video for you to watch next. And I think this video is a great video for you to watch next. Please click on both and see who's right. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.